Hello people of YouTube, my name is Kudoka Shinyamazana aka Potato Mommy and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I make natural hair and mom life inspired YouTube content which you should subscribe to, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my afro to look like this. I have had twists in for the whole week, so I just did my little twist out. Um, not really going anywhere, but... <laughs> yeah anyway uh i also will be telling you a fun little story just to you know entertain you guys a bit i just thought i'd do a random fun video so uh yeah i'm just gonna be telling you a story about the time i thought i had two kids at 21 so this was playing games anyway uh if you want to see more of my video then definitely keep watching don't know what you're feeling but i know what you dream i'm gonna start by spritzing my hair with some water I don't want to do that when I did the first two and I'm just gonna put some oil on my fingers just so my hair doesn't frizz up too much when I'm doing it anyway so my story is I don't even know I think I need to go back like a few months before I gave birth so what happened was I started like forgetting things you know people talk about mom brain which is basically like pregnant women or women who are like in the gestational period into like the postpartum period like i don't know if it's like the hormonal imbalance or what but you just start acting weird like you act you start acting like an old person you forget stuff all you want to do is sleep you randomly just i don't know you randomly fall asleep anytime you just eat, you, yeah, like, and you forget everything. Well, for me, it was like, I would forget everything. And then, like, well, that was, like, at the beginning. And then closer to, like, when I gave birth to my son, I just started having, like, an overactive imagination, which, naturally, I've always had. Like, I always used to be, I've, I'm such a dreamer. Like, I, I daydream, and I'm always, like, thinking, like, in five years' time, oh, I'm going to be living like this, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm such a dreamer. And... Honestly, I love that about myself because it pushes me to want to get my life there. But then it does also, it kind of is like, I don't know, it's probably also like my, 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 my one like bad point because I'm such a dreamer, like I've always got my head in the clouds. So I don't really like, I don't know, reality or like how bad things are right now or whatever isn't something I ever really focus on. If you see me looking down here, it's because that's where my mirror is. So yeah. So anyway. Um, I gave birth to my son on a Sunday, right? And then on the Wednesday, I came back home because I had to stay in hospital for a few days because I had an emergency C-section. Um, long story, if you want to hear that, then tell me that in the comments. I would love to share that story with you guys. Just in case there's anybody out there who's thinking of having a baby at 21, don't. Anyway, <laughs> so, well, unless it's planned, but, you know, whatever, I digress. So um, I came back on a Wednesday and it was probably like 6 o'clock when we got home and then um, uh, I chilled for a bit with my family and then my son fell asleep um, and then we went, we came upstairs. Yeah, I came upstairs with him so we could sleep, right? By then I was pretty tired so I stayed up probably until like 10, 11 and then at around 11 i finally went to sleep so i'm done undoing my twists i'm just gonna comb them out so yeah around 11 i fell asleep right so um sometime in the middle of the night okay before i go further into the story i just need to say have you ever had a situation where like you have a dream and it's so vivid and it's like everything seems to make so much sense to the point that you actually believe it's happened because that's exactly what happened to me and i just want to say that before i get into my story before because because i know that like if i tell it to people some people might just be like what the hell is wrong with this like this chick like i don't but like i just want you guys to remember that so you don't judge me when i do tell you my story anyway so i had a dream sometime in the middle of the night that that night of like myself and my son right myself and jesse and I couldn't tell where we were where we were i don't remember every full detail now because it's been almost two years but like the major stuff i remember so i couldn't tell where we were but we were sitting like on a park bench like you know those cement benches that are just like all over so i remember we were sitting on a park bench and it was like me 
and it was Jesse and he was in a stroller like he was an age where he could sit and everything and then I was holding a baby like an actual actual newborn baby like my son was at the time but that wasn't like Jesse right so I was holding a baby and I was holding and then Jesse was by the side in a stroller right and then like um so it's like I remember um, okay yeah okay so I remember like the baby was like crying and like throwing a fit and everything like it was a cold day and we were just out in the cold we were on our own I couldn't tell where we were but I just know we were on our on our own and it was like a really cold day and the baby just kept crying and crying and crying okay I went in too quick with my comb I should just try to detangle like unravel them more with my fingers anyway and then like um so there was like a little I don't know like a bassinet type thing on the ground so I put the baby in there, I think, to get some milk or something. I don't know what I was trying to get in the bag, right? So I put the baby down in there, right? And then, like, I went into my bag. I get up, and then I'm going back to get the baby, and then there's no one there. So I start seeing the baby, like, rolling. Like, it was just, like, the baby was just rolling, rolling. He was just rolling, like, uncontrollably. And I tried chasing after him with Jesse, and we couldn't catch up to him and he just kept rolling and rolling and rolling and then i just started feeling like that feeling like i was just rolling and rolling and rolling as well right and then i just started crying like i lost the baby where's the baby where's the baby jesse where's the baby oh my word i lost the baby and i'm there i'm crying i'm fa frantic i'm panicking and it felt so real like guys i'm not gonna lie like it really felt that real it got to the point where it's like i think after about like a good 30 minutes of that dream I woke up like in a frenzy right so I wake up and it's like the bed was wet because I was sweating like I was sweating buckets so the bed is like wet it's, it's completely moist from from you know my sweat right so I wake up and it's like I'm trying to feel around because the light was off I'm feeling around and Jesse's there and I turn on the light I get out of bed I turn on the light and my son is there he's wrapped up in his blankets he's sound asleep like he's fine like he was perfectly fine but in my mind this is still going on. So I'm looking at Jesse. I'm like, okay, Jesse's there. Where's the baby? I'm not joking, you guys. I will kid you not. I literally spent an hour up crying in my room, going up and down. I went, I took all my clothes out of the closet. I went through all my extra blankets, all of Jesse's clothes. I checked under the bed. I lifted up the Guys, I checked the entire room three times over. Like, where is the baby? Where is the baby? I lost a baby. I lost my baby. What am I going to do? I lost my baby. I'm such a terrible mother. Where is the baby? Where is the baby? And this is now in real life, guys. Like, I had actually woken up and I still thought I had lost an actual baby. Guys, I was frantic. I was crying. I was sweating. My heart was beating. Like, I don't even know. And then I, I sat down on the bed again, right? And Jesse's still there. He's asleep, right? So it's like... I just kept freaking and I was crying 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 and then Jesse just woke up crying. He wasn't hungry or anything. I just think, you know when people say like your babies can sense how you're feeling? That's honestly the truest thing under the sun. I swear he could sense that I was panicking and he did not feel safe at that moment. So he woke up too and he was just crying and crying and crying. So I, I took him and then I started breastfeeding him so he wouldn't keep crying otherwise my mom would wake up like what's wrong, you know. And I didn't want my mom to know that I had lost the other baby. <laughs> so I didn't want my mom to wake up on my work. <laughs> I sound like a crazy person, but like, yeah, okay, guys. So I didn't want my mom to wake up because then she'd notice that the other baby was missing, right? So I was like, okay, 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 it's fine. You know, I'm trying to calm down. So Jesse would calm down. I'm breastfeeding him and everything, you know. But like, he's still just there, like, looking at me like, there's, there's something wrong. Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you panicking, right? So it's like, I had to calm down just to get Jesse to calm down. Because again, I didn't want Jesse to keep crying. Because if he kept crying, my mom was definitely waking up to ask like what was wrong. You know, because moms, that was first time mom. So my mom was obviously going to come trying to help me figuring out what was wrong and everything. Right, so it's like, I'm like trying to calm down, get my heart rate to like stabilize and everything. Just so my son would chill, you know, and go back to sleep. So it's like in that time when I was like telling myself, okay, could I calm down, calm down, calm down. Let Jesse sleep and then we can look for the baby again. Let Jesse sleep. We can... What's wrong? Tom is, Tom is sleepy, Papa. Tom is sleepy, okay? You can't play with him when he's sleepy. You put him to bed and then you can play another game. No, can you leave my camera alone? No, thank you. Okay, so. Wait, guys, I just need to fix the game for myself. You can play the old Tom, okay?
Can you leave my makeup alone, sir? Put it back. Put it back. Good boy. Chen on tamba ush. Tom. 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 Okay. So, okay. in that time when I was trying to get myself to calm down, just so Jesse wouldn't keep like crying, is when like something in my mind <laughs> finally kicked in. Like, wait, sis. Like, you don't have no baby. <laughs> I mean. I had Jesse, and I knew that much. <laughs> Something in my mind was like, Auntie, what baby are you going for? <laughs> like, you've got one already. Why are you looking for a second one? Like, why? <laughs> I mean, why, right? That's what I was like, wait, like, I don't have two babies. I literally just gave birth to one. Where am I getting a second baby from, right? But... Even once it like finally like stuck in my mind that okay you're acting crazy, the feeling didn't go away. I swear it probably took me like a good month to two months for me to actually get it into my mind like no okay you have one child you didn't do anything wrong, but that dream was so vivid and to this day whenever I think of it my heart kind of just starts racing a little like what actually happened. Anyway, guys, all this is just to say, you know, if you know a mom, just cut them some slack, give them a break. It is tough out here being a mother. I remember I used to laugh at my mom all the time. And I always used to get so annoyed with her because, like, she literally... Jesse, can you stop that? She literally calls out all my three other siblings' names just to call me. And it's like, how do you not know my name? Or it's like, she'll literally be sitting next to the remote and she will call me all the way from upstairs. Like, kudabash! And you get there and she's like, do you want to vote? And you're like, it's right in front of you. But like, now that I'm a mom too, all of that makes sense to me. Like, your brain just acts different when you're a mother. And it makes sense because it's like, I'm thinking for two people now. I can only imagine what it's like when you have five kids and you have to think for five people. Six, including yourself. So it does make sense. Like, why? You kind of seem to go a little crazy, but I do cut your mom some slack and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my story i just wanted to share a fun little story with you guys while i my hair this is the end of the video i think i'm done combing out my afro well it's done enough i don't have the energy to keep trying to comb it and yeah so i will catch you guys in the next video um definitely do like comment subscribe and share my video i really 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 hope you subscribe to my channel i'm almost at 100 followers yay i know people get like weirded out by the fact that i'm always like showing like posting my milestones on my instagram like literally i gained five followers and i'm like yay subscribers but like all of you guys mean so much to me and it's like one subscriber makes every difference so thank you guys so much and i hope you continue to like our content tell me what else you want to see me film what else you want to see jesse and i film um yeah and if you know any Zimbabwean YouTubers, leave their channel name below and I'll check them out. I'm really interested in seeing what other Zimbabwean YouTubers are doing now and stuff. Even if you think I know them, just leave their name below. You never know who I do and don't know. So yeah, thanks. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you guys love and light.